If you picked up a Mac Mini M4 and you want to get a docking station, there aren't any options really on the market right now. There will be, though, in 2025. And this, I guess, is another company that is offering a dock. And actually, this is the best one that I have seen so far. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by them. And you can put storage also inside of this one, 8 terabytes of storage. So, yeah, let's have a closer look at this. So this is the article here, which I will link to in the YouTube description down below. And this is their site. So on the front, you've got two regular USB-A ports, 3.2. You've got a USB-C port. You've also got SD and a micro SD card reader, two slots here. And on the back, you've got a USB-C charge port, audio jack, 3.5 millimeter, another USB-A as well as an HDMI 2.04K at 60 hertz port, and another USB-C host port. So it looks pretty good. It also has ventilation, which is important because this Mac Mini pulls in air from the bottom. However, there's no provision or I don't see that there is for the power button, which on the Mac Mini is at the back left bottom. And that's not going to be a problem for most people because the majority keep them turned on all the time. Max do updates in the background, and some would argue that it's best to leave them on because of system updates and maintenance. Now, on their website here, they're listing the price as $146 Canadian. That's $99 US. And this is very interesting. Speed-wise, there's a 10 gigabits per second one, 10 in one, and there's a 40 gigabits per second, a 4 in one unit. I'm sure in the coming months, you're probably going to see other companies put out a lot of these docks. So if you want one, you know, pick one up as soon as you can, if you really, really need one. Otherwise, give it some time because you might have a few more choices. What do you guys think about this particular dock?